Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and I certainly hope you're having a fine day. Okay, exactly what this video is about is I'm going to try to save somebody's life if I can. Maybe 10 people, maybe 100. I'll never know. I've got a question to ask you. Are you smoking things? Are you putting combustibles into your lungs? Like cigarettes? Massive amounts of pot? Uh, are you smoking meth? You know, you need to ask yourself these questions because if you are, guess what, fool? You're killing yourself. Now, we live in a very addictive society. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. And you take like this business of smoking, especially smoking cigarettes. I'm going to tell you what the veterans of the administration of the United States told me. And they cannot, by federal law, lie to me. I have a very, right now I have a very good VA doctor. And you know what he told me, uh, you know, about 18 months or so ago? He said, Jim, he said, in the medical community, they refer to cigarette smoking as medical terrorism. Smoking is medical terrorism. Did you get that? I mean, your, your lungs were never designed to pull in any kind of toxic fumes, hydrocarbons, gases, all this other kind of shit, you know, and expect you to live a healthy lifestyle. It's like the Buddhists say, no air, no breath, no life. It's that simple. And cigarettes are one of the biggest conspiracies that I could possibly think about, think of. These tobacco companies getting rich while you're killing yourself. And it's only you that can stop smoking. And I've said this before, and matter of fact, in previous videos, I said I wasn't going to do any more vaping videos. You know, one of these little jobbers right here, which just isn't a vaping video. And But I here the other day, I just got to do a long-winded video on this mod right here. And I got to thinking, you know, this video is all well and good and everything, but you're not really getting down to the root cause. You're really not getting down to the problem. Now on this card, the CRS, can't remember squat card, I use these sometimes because I got short-term memory loss caused by the Vietnam War. But I'm going to give you some examples of people that I've known in my life that, that have died because of lung problems. And s some of these people, it was because of cigarettes, and other things too, you know, okay. Start right by number one, right off the get-go. My dad died back in 2002 with heart and lung complications. He was a he was a very famous artist in the state of Colorado. He was the third best artist, oil painting artist. At one time, he, he was rated third best in the state of Colorado. He spent many, many years humped over an easel smelling turpentine, this is what the doctor told me, it was no good, and mineral spirits, and blasting, uh, mineral spirits used for thinning his Grumbacher oils, you know, and blasting on cool cigarettes. My dad was a heavy, heavy cigarette smoker. You know, he, he only made it to 69 years old. Makes me wonder how long he would have lived if he didn't, you know, do the cigarette thing okay. Number two, my mom. She was a God-fearing Christian woman. She died in August of 2006. Why? Lung, stage four lung cancer caused by cigarette smoking. She never could kick cigarettes. I know, I had to sit there and read that doctor's report, which was about that th thick, and they blamed it right directly on cigarette smoking. Other than that, my mom was healthier than me, healthier than a horse. Okay, I used to have a stepdad. His name's Eddie. He died in the, in the 19, 1990s. Why? Emphysema. Why? Cigarette smoking. Now, this is a man that I knew very, very well. And the doctors told him way back in his early 30s that he was going to be in a wheelchair by the time he was 45 years old if he didn't stop smoking cigarettes. I remember way back in the day, you know, we grew up in the Mission Valley up there by Ronan, Polson, Montana. And my old stepdad, Eddie, used to smoke those long old 
pell mells the old timers used to call them. Them non-filtered things, okay? All right. One of my other stepdads, his name was Ralph. This guy was a hard rock miner. Now, he had several issues going. The mining didn't help him none, and he had a real bad accident on the Milwaukee Railroad. He took 50,000 volts through a, through a welder. I think lighting hit hit the rail lines, and he was welding on something, and he got zapped, and his lungs got fried. And, all that. and he, he smoked cigarettes when he was younger, but of course he had to give them up. His cause of death was, he only had 8% of his breathing capacity when he died. He was one of these kind of guys that was chained to an oxygen tank, just like you're going to be, and a concentrator. Okay, I had a good friend of mine down in southern Idaho, his name's Milt. He was a cowboy for many, many years. He died absolutely of lung complications. Matter of fact, he was under the care, at the time he passed away, he was under the care of the VA. They put him on some kind of medication that he had a reaction to. His lungs locked up on him, and boom, he was dead. And the problem with old Milt is there again, back in his younger days, he sucked down a lot of cigarettes, and he ate a lot of dust because he was a cowboy wrangling them cattle. Okay, my wife. She just lost a good friend and her previous boss where she worked, and I'm not going to get into all the details. Her name was Clara, and she she had just barely retired from where my wife is. She doesn't work there anymore either, but she just barely retired, only been retired like three months or something like that, and died. One morning she woke up, she had a stroke, she managed to stay alive for six more days, but I know Clara was fairly healthy, but she was also a cigarette smoker and she also liked her beer, okay? So cigarettes absolutely had a play in that stroke thing there. Okay, right now as we're talking, right now, this minute, I've got a brother-in-law that's married to my only sister down in Southern Idaho that's, he's got pancreatic cancer. And my sister has only given him three to six months to live. And exactly why this feller is dying is because of cigarette, because of cigarette abuse and, 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 he, and he loved that beer can. You know, he just couldn't seem to, you know, you know, how's that old saying goes? Uh, One's too many and 50's not enough or something like that. You know, I mean, this guy really sucked the bear down. And, of course, as everybody knows, pancreatic cancer is one of those cancers that they can't detect in time. It's a, it's a camouflage type of a cancer. Yeah, a lot of doctors think that somebody's having an infection, blah, blah, blah. But if you, if you get really bad pancreatic cancer, you're a goner. Okay. Now, cigarettes are manufactured to be addictive. I've, I've, I, there's a couple of people I'm actually trying to reach to, re, get to through this video. What it is, is that people always whine about being addicted to nicotine. It's not the nicotine that you're addicted to, bozo. It, it, it's the chemicals that they put in the paper. It's, uh, it's the delivery system. It's the filters. It's all the crap that they put in tobacco, it's the process that they use to make them just as addictive as you can while you're sitting there sucking one right, one down right after the other and killing yourself. Okay, and like I just got done saying, in the medical community across the world, basically doctors are now calling smoking medical terrorism. And that is why I don't have anything against being a dope smoker, marijuana smoker, but if you're gonna, for Christ's sake, Smoke the ganja, the herb, whatever have you, use a vaporizer. I mean, does it make any sense to you to set something on fire and, and take that hydrocarbons and ash and smoke and all that and suck it into your lungs? As a matter of fact, I had another VA doctor up at Fort Harrison, Montana tell me that if you're a dope smoker and a cigarette smoker, your chances of getting cancer go up by 400% because the ganja is trying to open up your lungs 
And while your lungs are being opened up after you burned a bowl, and then you sit down and you smoke a couple of cigarettes, guess what? Your lungs are, <laughs> you know, you've opened the door wide open to, to have cigarettes affect you all the more. You need to get these burnables out of your face. Okay. Now, like I say, the Buddhists have got a saying, no breath, no life. And that's another thing. All over the internet, you see these people, you know, they use these vaporizers just like this. You know, to, that's what I did almost. Well, I'm coming, and, 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 and this coming August, I'll, I'll have been quit two years, and I did it with vaping. But what really pisses me off is when I see these vaping commercials, I mean, YouTube videos or whatever have you, and these idiots just sitting there, you know, with their hats on sideways, tattoos all over the place, and, and, and they think it's smart by being a cloud chaser or blowing. And, and to me, these people look like they got a, a fire extinguisher coming out of their mouth. They're idiots. You know, this stuff right here can get you unaddicted. Okay. This can act like a pacifier till you get yourself off of cigarettes. And don't give me any excuses, because it'll work. You just got to find the right vaporizer, the right tank, the right coil, the right e-juice, and get yourself dialed in. Get the right nicotine level. Then it takes a little bit of experience, I mean, experimenting around, but all the information you ever need is right on the internet. And you can quit. And there's also other things besides, do I th think that vaping is the only way to quit smoking cigarettes? No. You've got nicotine gum, nicotine lo lozenges, patches, and all of that other stuff. So, I just laid down a bunch of stuff in a real quick hurry here. I want to get off of here. I don't want this file to be too long because I'm recording in 4K anymore at 30 frames a second, and these files are huge. But if you're sucking in smoke, if you're sucking in combustibles, you need to quit because you're killing yourself. You got no more excuses. Because basically what you're doing is you, what you're addicted to, you're, you're, you're my, you're, if you don't get the willpower upstairs here, your mind is, I mean, your body is governing your mind instead of the other way around. Did you catch what I just said? So stop smoking. It's just that simple. Because if you don't, one day, like so many people I've known, you're gonna be sitting across the table from some doctor and that doctor is gonna go, well, Mr. Joe Blow, I hate to tell you this because he's gonna have some big re lab report in his hands, but you got cancer and chances are you're gonna die. And it's gonna cost you a shitload of money. So why don't you just quit smoking and start vaping, and that includes pot too, and save yourself a whole bunch of money and save your health. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen, because your health care is really left up to you. It's not the guy down the street. The guy down the street don't give a shit about you. Okay, like I'm famous for saying, take care of yourselves. See you on down the trail.